you're watching the book reviewer hello audience welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy and I have another book review to share so as you guys know um, and I mentioned in my last video which I will link up here um, I am working on the James Harriet series um, I've got another review to share you guys. Um, this is the third book in the series. And this one is called All Things Wise and Wonderful. Check that out. Okay. So this particular book has a Kindle edition. Or a paperback. For those of you who love the physical book. And there are advantages to both um, I might do a video about that that might be a good idea to show you the pros and cons of Kindles versus paperback that might be a good idea I'll have to do that um, anyway um, this has 400 440 pages and 48 chapters and this was a long read you guys but this was a good one um, this definitely took me longer than I would have liked, but it was, it was great. Um, this says the classic bestseller and I can understand why. So, um, this book is set in the 1940s in England. And this is about the time of World War II. I think World War II started about 1940, 1942, something like that. Um, I'll put a note or something um, on the video itself to see if that's different or not. Um, so he alters um, being a vet with the Royal Air Force. Um, he alters... Um, talking about it about every other chapter and he does this very very seamlessly like um, sometimes I would be reading another chapter and realize oh he's talking about the Air Force or oh he's back doing his um, thing with the animals which is tending to them doctoring in them just like that so um, it 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 flows very very well and as some of you know I am a writer by trade so those things capture my attention very very well um, so this is some vocabulary that we haven't seen before um, a dustbin would be a wastebasket um, a pram is a stroller um, meager okay this word um, might sound the same to you, but it has a different spelling. I'll put the spelling right there. Um, it is the E and the R at the end of the word. They switch places in, in this book. And it just means the same thing. It means meager. Um, I is yes. I don't know the origin of the word I. It might be just Old English, but I'll put a note to be sure, and we can both learn together. Um, comradeship. This is a word that I have not seen before ever. Um, but I'm guessing it's a little bit, it's like friendship, because usually you have your friends or your comrades um, you guys share interests and bonds and everything like that so it would be a comradeship or a friendship so um, James Harriet is a veterinarian and he's married and he has a very very pregnant wife at home so um, he gets leave to see his um, baby and his son or baby and <laughs> and his wife <laughs> excuse me oh my gosh um, 
So he gets that. He enjoys being with his son and things like that. And so um, later on, um, well, let's see. Okay, let's back up. Okay, so he is training in the Royal Air Force to be a pilot. Um, this goes on until he needs an operation and his commander or whoever is in charge of him um, tells him that he is no longer eligible because of a health requirement to not fly planes anymore. And he is downgraded to a meteorologist. Now, in modern day, a mo meteorologist would mean checking the weather and stuff like that. That's what I initially thought it would be. But in wartime, I don't think they have a need for that. But, um, so he gets downgraded. This is kind of a blow to him. And he ends up describing his job duties. Um, he's supposed to get um, clothing and distribute them to other people that need them. And he calls out the last names of people like a drill sergeant would. Um, so that was a little surprising to me that they would describe it as a meteorologist and then have him just hand stuff out. Um, maybe they didn't know what to call it. I'm not sure. Um, so chapter 33 held my interest um, because... It was a story that I had read before, at least, and the details were very, very similar. Um, this is the story, are you ready for this? This is the story of the Market Square Dog. I will put a card with the link to the video so you can check that out. And it was nearly the same. Um, I actually had no idea that his um, stories were pulled from these classic series books. Um, one reason I think um, the details were altered is because the Market Square Dog is geared toward younger children. and they changed some of the details just for the younger crowd, so to speak. So, um, I'll put a link up there for you guys to see it. Um, there was another similar story that I had read before. It's about a ca cat named Oscar. And he is a very, very social cat. Um, in the book, he... Um, seems to disappear at kind of random times or so they think and it turns out that Oscar loves going out to the meetings going out um, to the churches stuff like that and socialize and it's a little bit later at night that he comes back and I thought that was something extraordinary um, not many cats like to socialize like that, um, but this is the, um, memoirs of this veterinar vet veterinarian, if I could say it right. Yes. So, um, I will hopefully review that book, um, about a cat named Oscar. I'll review that sometime hopefully this next week. And so you guys can see the similarities of this um, book compared to the collection of stories in this book. So this book is a great book. Um, again, as I have said in the other videos of the books of the series, um, these people do have accents. So it can be really hard to read, read, let me put the D on there. Um, so what I read 
would recommend you doing if you're not used to that is if you want somebody to read to you or if you can just sound out the uh, um, the sentence that they try to say with maybe an accent so you can understand kind of what they're wanting to say or how they say it um, but other than that it is a great great book it is a classic bestseller see right there it's a classic bestseller so I will put a link down in the description below of the playlist of the other James Harriet series books that I have done um, I did not include the market square dog on that playlist because it's not part of the kind of series that we're doing um, but I could make a separate playlist for all of the James Harriet stories and books that I will eventually review do you think that's a good idea I think that's a good idea let's do that um, I think I'll do that so we will see you guys tomorrow with another book review that's it for today thanks for watching thanks for subscribing keep reading don't stop believing and we will see you again soon goodbye